Well, it's a great book that highlights the funny and sometimes even X-rated moments when raising boys, and the author just so happens to be yeah. right here from our area. That's right. We have author Kim Griffith joining us live to talk to us about her book, uh, Nothing is Funnier Than Your Children. I mean, that, <laughs> that is a great topic for a book. It's always fun. But uh, tell us a little bit about why you wanted to, to put this book to paper, all this, these stories to paper. So I started writing the book in 2013 when I was diagnosed with MS. And I had a little bit of extra time on my hands. I was working part time as an independent contractor and decided to start writing chapters, sharing the funny moments that occurred with raising the boys. Um, so I put pen to paper and started. And as I got through each story, there was another story <laughs> following. So that's how I got started. I love it. All right, it. Kim. So the kids provide great content, obviously. I'm a mom of three boys. I'm not ready to share those stories yet, but I'll get there <laughs> someday, I'm sure. But what's cool about your book, I've read a lot of reviews about it, is it really doesn't matter if you have girls or boys. The book and the stories right. are totally relatable. Yes. Um, so Brian was five years old, and we were driving to San Francisco to help my youngest sister, Katie, set up her classroom to teach. And we had handwritten directions that instructed us to get off the Bay Bridge. And so we got off at the Bay Bridge, and we got onto Market Street, and we drove through the financial district and then we hit the tenderloin. And all of a sudden, Brian chimes in from the back seat and says, Mommy, Grandma, why is that lady naked? <laughs> I do a quick scan of the street to see if I see a naked lady, and I don't. But out of the corner of my eye, I see an ad for a gentleman's club on a billboard with a woman scantily clad in the negligee. And Brian says, Mommy, Grandma, when I see things like that, it makes my penis tingle. Oh, oh, oh geez. <laughs> oh, my God. So, right. well, he's so always... trying not to laugh, but furiously, I put my head down and my mom kicked into her kindergarten teacher explanation for it. And she said, Brian, it's perfectly normal for you to feel that way when you see a pretty lady. <laughs> well, let, let's yeah. talk about some other parts of the book here where, where these boys, okay, so again, I have three at home. You've raised them now. They're grown. What is it like for them looking back, you know, hearing these stories retold? Maybe not that one, but some other ones um, being retold and, and reliving them through the book. You know, when I first wrote the book, I used their middle names so as to not embarrass them. But as they've gotten older now, I don't think the stories embarrass them. I think they find as much joy in them as I do. Where can we get your book? And also, where can I see that sign? I mean, no, where can we get the book? <laughs> so, <laughs> you can get the book at Barnes & Noble or on Amazon.com. Um, it's for sale for $24.95 per copy. And the proceeds from the book go to support the MS, the Dignity Health MS Achievement Center in, in uh, Carmichael. That is awesome. Both my sisters have MS. I really appreciate you doing that. I really do. So it's uh, the MS Achievement Center does great work for patients with MS. You can go in and exercise and be with other people who have MS who share. That's awesome. That is the same awesome. diagnosis, and so it's a good a good thing. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. It's called Hashtag Curious Connections.